All right, we we are here, we are live, and uh, Revenge of Camille. Yes. How many sequels is this movie? <laughs> yeah, I think it'll go to five sequels because this was very well played. I mean, both the players had very evenly matched decks. So that we talk about the Dark Prince, the Prince, and the Giant coming in from Arpan's side, but the Battle Ram and Bandit with Inferno. Now, the MVP of that game would be the Inferno because it was played so well. It distracted the Giant on one side. Meanwhile, the Bandit and the Dark Prince, making sure that the second Giant sent out by Arpan was also handled very well, defended by Camille. But I also want to point out that Arpan maybe getting a little too aggressive over there. He didn't really need to make this two giants drops maybe we had just concentrated on one side of the tower he would have been able to take down one princess faster so i hope to see whether the next game he kind of makes sure that he gets a little more patient uh with camille and doesn't really go completely aggressive and controls himself a little bit all righty all righty so then let's push off into the fourth game of yes. the day and see what's in store for us there <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, game four of this best of five between Camille and Urban. And Urban already behind a game here. He has to figure out how to make a comeback. He needs to win two games in a row to catch up to Camille now and beat him. But Camille's looking fairly strong so far. So we'll find out very soon how this game is going to pan out. Let's see. Camille now sticking, gone back to his old deck. He really likes this deck uh, with a simple win condition. The Goblin Barrel needs to connect. He, he'll he bait out any fireball, he'll bait out any log that his opponent might have while he drops the barrel in the back. That's the whole plan of it. And now, Arpan needs to figure out what he's planning to do. Now, he's bat uh, baited out a fireball already. And here you go. Just as I had said, here comes uh, the ba uh, goblin barrel. It's going to do a plenty of damage. And this is a damage that you can rely on, by the way. Uh, he's brought down the health down to 1900 health, by the way. So. Bait out the fireball, bait out any zap or uh, any log that your opponent has and drop a goblin barrel in the back. And that is the whole plan. However, look at this. Urban's units have connected to that tower, bringing it down to mere 1500 health. And now we'll see Camille trying to rinse and repeat the same procedure over and over again to bring to eventually bring that tower down. And we'll see who's going to be successful now. Urban, on the other hand, has a fairly decent deck to uh, do some offensive uh, damage there. But Camille, look at that. He has the Zap Tower. It's quite tanky. It has stopped the, the, the ram in its tracks and will now defend the tower pretty well. And now it's the chance that Camille uh, has to, Urpan has to figure out where is he going to throw that firewall, by the way. He's decided to throw the firewall uh, at the Goblin Gang. And look at this, the Goblin Barrel still doing a lot of damage. This was round two of the Goblin Barrel, by the way. Uh, which brought the tower down to 1100 health from 1900. So Goblin Barrel has c always brought him good damage and he will continue to do so. And Urban now needs to figure out how is he planning to deal with this situation. He has no answer for this situation, by the way, because he has cards that go directly for the tower. And look at this. He's, he's just out of spells right now. He needs to figure out what's he doing. The Goblin Barrel, again, bringing more damage, bringing the health down to 400 and Camille is consistently bringing a lot of damage and Urban is having a lot of trouble do, uh, defending against this. Uh, he does not have the right cards to defend against this. Uh, the fireball needs to be put up somewhere. The fireball will either go to the goblin gang. He could zap it also. He has a lot of option, but here comes the, the last barrel. If he does not deal with this barrel, they will bring the tower down. Fairly low 88 health left on the tower. Remember, Camille also has a poison. He could close the game if he wants to. However, the plan here is to defend for the next 13 seconds and then eventually put down a poison uh, to close this game. And this is going to be a 3-0 victory in favor of Camille. 3-1, sorry. It's not 3-0. Thank you. And uh, this is GG, man. Arpan just did not have the answer to deal with the, the zap bait or, or the log bait that was being thrown at him. And Arpan decides every time to put the fireball over the goblin gang and while uh, the goblin barrel was doing damage onto the tower. So with that, I am going to end the cast here. I'm going to send it back to the studio and let's hear what Angie and Vagish have to say about this game. This was a four-match game here with the 3-1 in favor of Camille. Congratulations, Camille and Urpan. I, it seems like this loss is not going to do a lot of damage to your standings. However, still to be safe that you should not be 
losing a couple of games here, even though you are on second position. So take care, guys, and uh, back to the studio. All right, we're back in the studio of the ESL India Premiership 2018 Summer Seasons as Masters League, brought to you by Women by HP, HyperX, and Intel. And the lovely peeps of Northern Gaming and ESL India presenting this to you. Essentially, me and Angie and workaholic because he casts so well, and Angie and me because uh, we're pro. We're pro. We're pro. Pro. Also, Ranjit, props to you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Adi. And Kunal. <laughs> and Kunal. Are the entire Nordwin <laughs> gaming team. We yeah, everybody's there. Yeah, everybody there. But yeah. but interesting game, yeah, Angie. Yes. Um that sly poison finisher in the end, like yes. oh, it was, that was it good. was just well played. I think uh, Arpan is really underestimating the power of goblin barrels. I mean I get it, you have the Dark Prince, but when you know that your opponent is gonna be constantly playing something that's gonna destroy you with just goblins and the goblin gang, maybe he had just added the arrows to his deck, which are less less elixir count also that an instant stop to a goblin barrel so it kind of makes sure that you know even if you even adding a mirror to it so if you even have a double goblin barrel hitting you you have like a double mirror the only issue i think arpan really faced in this matchup is he was so busy defending that he didn't really didn't really have the time to play offensive and the times he was getting to play offensive we had the teslas now waiting from coming inside making sure that you're not really going to reach my tower and that's how he's always played even, like i said he's a very very defensive player for him his princess is like his life he is not going to let that tower fall unless the need is dire and uh, he never lets the need go really dire unless he's playing a very very hard game which i think the only game he's really lost to is against sutikshan but that also sutikshan had to really put in a lot of work it went to a best of five and over there even there was a sparky involved so i'm actually excited to see kamil make it to the land finale if he does even though he's sitting seventh on the board as of now i think the road to the land finale isn't too hard for him also he's going to be matching up against against arpan over there because he's sitting second on the board and Sutikshan and I think the best of the lot should always be available at the land finale so it'll be really exciting to see congratulations though to Kamil and to Arpan I mean you've just taken one more loss it's fine I mean it's your last game it's uh, okay hota hai, hota yeah, hota hai. Hota hai. Hota hai. Kisi kisi ke padta hi padta hai. Yeah, that's true Lekin haar ke wale ko kehte hai, Arpan. Yaad rakna. okay that that dialogue Angie we'll take a quick break here yeah. to like you know Take a moment of silence, take For a breather. Yeah. Angie will probably slap me a couple of times and be like, why do you make such shitty jokes? But what we'll do is we'll take a small uh, commercial break. On the other side, we have Counter-Strike Global Events yes, lined up. Yes, very interesting yeah. game lined up, guys. But again, you can only watch it if you uh, a subscribe to our channel Definitely. or press that bell icon because, hey, it's invite only now, I think. I'm just kidding. It's not invite only. Go ahead, press that subscribe button, press that bell icon, bell icon button and watch your uh, esports action live. <laughs> 